My name is Sunny. I'm the Kata Containers Community Manager at the Open Infra Foundation. Today, I'm joined by Tao Peng, Staff Engineer of Bank Group. For people who are in the Kata community, you probably know Tao already because he's a very active community member and contributor and a member of the Kata Containers Architecture Committee. As one of the largest Kata container users, Bank Group has very large deployment of Kubernetes, and about 10,000 nodes of them are running Kata containers. Tao's team is responsible for the runtime and cloud-native storage of Bank Group. So thank you, Tao, and your team for your contribution to the Kata project and the community. I'm very excited for you to join us today. So for people who might not be very familiar with the Bank Group, um, can you tell us a bit more of why Bank Group decided to use Kata containers and what are the benefits that you see? Um, and I'm good. We aim to create the infrastructure and platform to support digital transformation of the security of the service industry. We strive to enable all cust cust customers and uh, small businesses to have vehicle access to financial and other services that are inclusive, green, and sustainable. To do this, we run many different workloads on many clusters. Our workloads can be mostly categorized into two types, online services and offline jobs. The online services are very sensitive and to latency and performance jitters, and the offline jobs are less sensitive but can be a cause of performance jitters on their own. And we co-locate them in the same physical machines, so we would like, would like to have a way to isolate them mostly to prevent the offline jobs from creating jitters and affecting the online services. So it is one of, one of the big reasons we, why we run Katakaners in production. Another reason for us to use Katakaners is still isolation, fault isolation, because we run many software applications in containers and the software can bugs. Applications can panic occasionally or cause out of memory situation, or cause, or even cause chronic panic in some rare cases. These incidents can cause severe performance jitter to containers running on the same machine. So we would like, would like to use a separate kernel to isolate, to isolate them with virtualized containers. And again, containers is a natural fit to do it. Right now, we have put many of the offline jobs inside containers in production like MapReduce and machine learning jobs. We run containers on about 10,000 nodes in production. It helps us to contain the data source and gain much more stable application performance overall. Awesome, it's really great to um, hear the large deployments uh, that are running on Kata. Also, like you mentioned, work isolation is very important to end group and many other users as well, which is the main reason why your team is running Kata. Kata really, really utilizes hardware level virtualization to keep containers isolated both from each other and from their host system. So Kata is able to offer deeper isolation levels between individual workloads and achieve this to a greater extent than similar systems. So isolation is good. And um, I know that Kata containers also integrates with container management layers, including popular orchestration tool like Kubernetes. So is Ngroup integrating Kata with Kubernetes at all? If so, what are the benefits of this implementation? All of our, all of our containers in production are running with Kubernetes, and they include both Kata containers and the traditional Advanced C containers. Kubernetes uses our burden of container maintenance. It automatically handles container orchestration, scheduling, resizing, and recovery. And Kata containers integrate smoothly with Kubernetes. It works as part of Kubernetes, and we can easily mix, mix transparency and Kata containers in the same cluster. It's awesome to hear the seamless integration of Kubernetes and Kata containers. So now you've explained how N Group is using Kata. What are the N Group's um, future plans for your Kata containers environment? Right now, we run both of our Kata containers with two door X releases, and we co cooperate with the Alibaba Cloud Container Sandbox team to create a ZWAS version Kata runtime, integrating the runtime and the virtual machine management components into a single process. The new architecture is being deployed in production right now. And we are working to contribute the, the feature to the Kata community, make it a part of Kata 3.0 and benefit more Kata users. 
Along with the new architecture deployment, we are still expanding the coverage of our partners at N Group. We look forward to running more offline jobs in the future and want to experiment with putting on putting online services inside Kata as well. It certainly requires a lot of work and optimization to make it happen. But the opportunity of Kata Kernels and end group is huge as well. I love that your team is collaborating with Alibaba Cloud and experimenting with Kata. So please keep us updated on end group that's run by. And I'm very excited, I'm sure the community is as well, to hear more about end group's innovative approach with Kata.